raised, you know, with, I was raised with manners. So if you got a fucking fart, take your ass to the next room or go outside or something. Don't do it around a bunch of people to where it, it could be. My mother and them considered that disrespectful. So I understand that part. But I'm not just going, you know, make it a point not to fart. You know what I'm saying? If I fart and you just happen to come in there, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I ain't about to just be like, <laughs> all right, cool. Mark Mark. Here. Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. The fuck? My you girl look- coming in here, but I got to fart. <laughs> man, <it's the> fuck. <laughs> this nigga mistakenly agreed on nothing. You just farting. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> like yeah. she actually, I said, I just, like she said, she be right back or something. All right, cool. You just farted, nigga. Uh, with you. I'm talking, with you, all right, cool. Nah, no, I was. <laughs> no, I was saying if she came in the room, then I'm like, all right, cool. But I'm not gonna purposely like if I know I'm like, let me get up out of here real quick. But you know, if I'm in the bathroom or if I got to dig in my nose, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna use a paper towel or something. But I ain't about to. It's types of shit you can do, but the way this nigga was talking. I said, you a sassy ass nigga. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. Fuck I ain't about that. to sit here and be. I'm farting, whatever the fuck I need to fart at. Yeah. But once again, I pay bills. Yeah, like, <laughs> that off. gives me Talk the off. right. I'm, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we yeah, on the couch watching carry- a movie. Oh, what? The fuck? Yeah. Smell all you that. See, I ain't gonna start. <laughs> now that, that part that. pissed me off. That yeah. would piss me off. That's what I'm supposed to do. It'll piss me off too. But hey, what the fuck you gonna do? Not fuck with her yeah. no more? You know, not be in a relationship? Like, come on, man. Like, yeah. Now you can't even get no faith tonight. Rela- but relationships about need <laughs> that. Relationships need that. Come on, man. Why would you do yeah. that? You need that. Especially if it's in yeah, a jokative you way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Post post a picture of, of your man looking ugly as a bitch, sleep, slobbing on the pillow. Man, why would you yeah, do you that? Can. But at the same time, he realized the only person he got to impress is you. That's it. You know what I mean? And, and, and the same thing with the That's females. It. Same shit. Catch her sitting on the Especially toilet. It. Snap a picture. Post it. <laughs> yeah, like especially especially if you you a man bringing home the bacon and doing what you supposed to do ain't no bitch gonna give a fuck about you farting digging in your nose and shit nigga yeah, it depends on what, what kind of bacon he bringing home now you got that goddamn I, that poke you know smoke I mean, you got I that poke that poke smoke bud nigga don't wanna smell no goddamn uh, marinated smoked pork farts I, I don't think I could stay. If I did it, my, like, you ever farted and you couldn't stay around that bitch? Like, God damn. That motherfucker hey, follow you I, like, follow you like them clouds on the cartoons and shit. You, you walk over there, that bitch right there with you. Like, nigga. Man, I'm not even going to stop. <laughs> Fuck I, you going. I had, to put, I had to put a chick out my house one time for that. Oh, damn. <laughs> it was nigga, she farted and we was supposed to get it in. And I said, like, oh, and nigga, I swear, mm. she started cracking up, and I just gave her this look, like, oh, really nasty, my fucker. And like, next yeah. thing you know, I'm hitting, this, I'm hitting this blunt. Next thing you know, that shit just hit my face. I said, oh, motherfucker. I mm. said, oh, nah, man. Go. See, it be them silent like, farts. It be them silent farts. <laughs> you put that, especially if you sitting like on a cushion couch. You do a silent fart, that all. bitch go into the cushions and it sit there. Nigga. It sit there <laughs> until you get up and then it just <laughs> It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, I farted 10 minutes ago. How the, Straight fuck, up. <laughs> how the fuck that happened? Like, Man. damn. It, 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 it's fucking, that's how gas <laughs> move, I guess, you know? I, it's crazy. Uh, you uh, learn nigga, something new every I day. Was- <laughs> I was butter too, nigga. I was high in the bitch. Next thing you know, she did that, nigga. Took me out my hole. Have you ever been high and did something just take you out your house? I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Oh, you gotta go. I had opened the door and everything, nigga. It was that bad. I ain't never smelled the chick this bad in my life, nigga. I said, oh my god, I was hitting that. The fuck? 
You ever been? Uh, uh. You ever been? You ever been so high? Shit on TV was fucking with you, like the the surround sound, like the background mm. noise is in the TV. It sound like it's in your house, and you start, "What the fuck is that? Yeah. What's that noise?" I, I that start up, you, like <laughs> you be high as You're a like, bitch. You, you be high oh, as a bitch. You, <laughs> TV. <laughs> you be high as a bitch. You hear beeping noises in the background. Man, somebody, what is that beeping noise? I don't know. You yeah, going I, checking all the rooms, <laughs> checking the goddamn uh the, the fucking uh the smoke, smoke detectors song. and shit. I was watching something today, nigga, where the police <laughs> alarm, the police siren started going off. So I'm thinking this ass here, nigga. This any movie. I said, oh shit, nigga. Let me turn this shit down. <laughs> yeah, just fucking crazy. <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and get it to this show. We'll be right back. Let me let the girl do what she do. Welcome to Talk Your Talk Podcast. The views, information, our opinions expressed during this podcast are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent those of Keon Mac or the Thesis Mac Network. Thesis Mac Network is not responsible and does not verify for accuracy any of this information. The primary purpose of this podcast is to educate and inform. This podcast does not constitute professional advice or services. Uh, I finally found the words to say. Uh, 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 I'm gonna make a change in my life starting here today i surrender all my love i never thought i could sing it boy i'm giving all my love away there's only one reason that i and baby is you what's going on motherfuckers it seems like it's been a while it ain't been that long but it seems like it's been a while since we had a talk your talk podcast man and and i'm not talking about the open chat i'm talking about the actual podcast this is the 15th show ladies and gentlemen so Give it up. Give it up. And and you know, all right, all right, shut the fuck up, niggas. God damn. And I also want to say this. We also made it on Facebook to 2,000 fucking followers. Actually, we had 2,200 followers. <laughs> No, so no cat. Thank you so much. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, these two thousand followers may be little to some of you people, but let me tell you this. We got two thousand people on this motherfucker who we don't even fucking know who's following us. I appreciate y'all. Uh we did this from the ground up. You know what I mean? We ain't paid no money for it. We ain't got no bots. We ain't got a million followers and only getting two views. Let me stop. Oh. Let me stop throwing shots out there. But yeah, man, like congratulations to our people out there. Thank you so much. Keep following us on Facebook. Talk your talk. Talk your talk. That's T A L K Y O T A L K. All together, no space. And you'll find us on Facebook. Hit the fucking follow button. And do what you do. Become part yeah. of the This Is Mac Network. Come yeah, on. Man. If you don't, <laughs> you don't want niggas and promoters yeah. all in your videos, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over to This Is Come Mac Network. Talk radio. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. Bring your asses on over here. <laughs> you some of my bitches. What's going on, man? I be your host. 
Keon Mac, aka This Is Mac, up in the fucking building, and I'm here with the boy as always, Terry. Terry, what's popping with you, what's boy? Ah oh, man, man. I'm trying to mention. I'm just letting it flap. That's all. Uh, just gotta let it yeah. flap, man. You know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work. You gotta work this shit like like real life situations. And right now I'm free balling the situation. That's what I'm doing. Every situation I'm walking in with just sweatpants, no fucking draws on, just fuck it. Fuck it. That's what I'm Two on right now. Button, <laughs> we up in this motherfucker. Two button, we got a couple of things to talk about. We got headlines and hot takes. We got celebrity files. We got social media. Me coming up. We got urban news from Indiana. We also got Hoosiers, dumbest criminals. Yes, That's sir. one of my favorite part of the shows. Uh... I don't know if we got a fucking Indies fun fact yet, but, you know, I mean, if you want to give out a fun fact, uh, co-host, you can definitely do that at the end of the show. I mean, you know, I'm just saying, if not, we can skip that. I'm pretty sure that people won't miss that shit. Um, what, what we got, uh, Tyler Perry, uh, we have, yeah. uh, Dave East, uh, shoot, we got, uh, Charleston White, uh, blue face. <laughs> Shout out to Charles. We got blue face. <laughs> we got Joe Biden. We got Lil Uzi Vert. We got man. We got we got a lot of stuff coming up. We need to talk about. Uh, so y'all go ahead and hang in there. We'll be back and just chill for a second and listen to our song. <laughs> Yo, 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 and we back up in this bit. So, um, one thing that I want to get off is this. I want to start with Tyler Perry. Uh-huh. Now, because I just want to clear some stuff up. Now, mm-hmm. Tyler Perry, if y'all haven't noticed, uh, maybe what, what was this? What, last week or so? Uh, Christian Keys. Uh, if y'all don't know mm. who that is, he is an actor who mostly stars yeah. in uh in Tyler Perry movies, especially in the Medea uh, movies and screenplays and stuff like that. So, yeah, the actor he posted a video detailing that he was sexually abused in the past at the hands of a very powerful man in Hollywood. So, you know, motherfuckers online, they already speculating and they're going to think, oh, he starred in so many Tyler Perry movies. Tyler Perry is a billionaire. So uh, they kind of felt like he was aiming towards Tyler Perry with those comments or with those allegations. Uh, So he did uh, come back. And uh, he also appeared in a video that he posted, and he clears Tyler Perry's name. So Tyler Perry is not the person he's talking about. So if for all of y'all out there, uh, our black brother, Tyler Perry, is not the person that he's talking about. Okay? So, I mean, y'all can keep the guessing game, but I'm saying, like, leave Tyler Perry alone. I feel like Tyler Perry is one of the few people who are actually out there for the people. You know, we don't need him to go down. Now, of course, if he did something wrong, yes, I understand that. You know, let the law do the law. But if he ain't got shit to do with it, please don't put that energy in it, there. Please stop. Now, uh, Terry, did you even hear about this? Yeah, I heard about it. I just didn't inquire. We was actually talking about it yesterday at my mom's house. Mm-hmm. But I was looking at it from the standpoint like he said he was abused in the industry. It says here he's only been in the industry since an actor since 2005 in the industry, which means you had to be what about 25, 26, and 48. 
I don't know. I didn't, I didn't do the math too much, but he was around in his mid twenties. I'm trying to figure out how you, as a mid twenty five year old, was sexually abused. Was you drunk? Was you drugged? That I like, it's stuff like that that kind of make me be like, how can a man be sexually abused if you wasn't drunk, drugged? Right, forcefully, who forced themselves on you? <laughs> I didn't uh, think he was that <laughs> old until I see how looking at his age. That, that's what uh, you have to think about stuff like this. I was, I was too sexually abused in the industry, but you said here you've only been active since 2005 till now. So in 2005, I was 22. He's, he's, he's 48, so he had to be. What, 27? I'm off with the math. Anyway, yeah, you had to be 27. <laughs> you just added this nigga uh, age up twice. Yeah, he would be yeah. about 27. You, you don't see how he would get I'm sexually like, abused. Who sexually, I mean, who sexually abused him? Like, uh, if he wasn't drug or drunk or gang rape or something, then I'm I, like, dude, why are you even talking about this? Gotcha. I, That's I, just, I, I feel like... Um, I'm I'm gonna tippy toe around this one, um, but I believe it is possible. It, you know that men does get sexually abused just like females do. Uh, grown men get sexually abused. It happens. It happens. Mm-hmm. I, I know to, to 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 people like us, it's why would you allow that? You know, but like I said, there's other people out there that can see a broke motherfucker out there and go, why would you allow yourself to be broke? And look at you in disgust the same way you're looking at him. How can you get sexually abused as a grown man? And people say, well, how can you be, you know what I'm saying, homeless as a grown man? How can you be on the streets with your family as a grown man? And look at you yeah. in disgust. So, so, so the, the, the point I'm trying to make is same shit that happened with females can happen to men. There's sensitive men out yeah. there. There's a lot. So I can see that happening. And, and like I said, looking at him, he didn't look like uh, you know, he was hardcore in the past. He don't look like he looked like he he found his way into acting and and you know, that made his, you know, a change in his life. But possibly he went through some shit. You know so what I'm saying? Is he So is he gay? Is that why he's coming out with this? Because my whole thing is there's a lot of men ain't going to want nobody to know about that. So, and this is just not not trying to say he should be ashamed of it. Well, well, well didn't, didn't Terry Crews come out as that? Is Terry Crews gay? Yeah, he said somebody, he said, nah, he said somebody touched him. Yeah. And he smacked his hand. Yeah. No, nah, he got to walk. Most people and don't want to talk about it. that. Yeah, but I can see him bringing that out, trying to expose people. But what I'm saying, he's saying he was sexually abused, which means he was doing something with somebody's private parts, pants down, doing something. Both of y'all. Oh, Terry Crews just smacked the dude's hand away, like, hey, fuck is wrong with you? And which he should have smacked him in his face, you know. But at the end of the day, I'm looking at it like, if you're not gonna name who who the the so-called uh, perpetrator is, then why are you even bringing this out and saying something? Like, like, are you trying to get help or encourage people to come out now or something? Or is this what you're doing? Which is okay. I mean, because it's, time, it's, it's a lot of stuff out there that's going on where people are blackballing other people. You know, if you don't have sex with them, you don't get another movie deal or... You know what I mean? Like this shit is real. Like they really are gatekeepers. Well, they need you know? to have some. They need to have some integrity, like Angela Bassett. Shit, she turned. Did you realize how rich Angela Bassett could be if she did certain sacrifices that other women in Hollywood would do? And she's like, Nah, I ain't doing that. Yeah, but Angela ba- but Angela Bassett had a, a, a big fan base before those moments came where she chose to go otherwise. You know, compared to some of these people who this nigga just known for Medea movies. 
You know what I mean? So it's like I see why everyone thought Tyler Perry, why, why that would be the first thing, because I don't recall seeing him in anything else. It's like what other billionaire this nigga met? I don't remember and, him from no and, other movie or TV shows or no shit like that. And, and the thing is, for Angela Bass to have the network she has, it pisses you off because you know she's worth more. I mean, that's going through you a know? lot of black actors. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, but how many, how many black actors and actresses and stuff do you know got this type got more money in her I'm like how the fuck you even like she's only worth 30 million you know and and that kind of not not saying that's a you know bad but Angela Bass's resume what would you say to her her net worth should be just like we was talking about Monique and uh Taji oh what's her name Taraji. Taraji. Yeah. Now, when we talked about them, like, you know, you kind of estimated their value. So, what would you think, or what would you say her net worth should be with her career, all the iconic movies she got? You know. See, I, I wouldn't, the reason why I do think she needs to be worth more than 30 million, but I'm not looking, I'm not looking far out. I'm not looking far out because yeah. she have done great movies. But mm-hmm. give me one movie she carried herself. Even if you think of, of just hear me out, if you think about what's love got to do with it, her being teeny mm-hmm. was good. But nigga, you know the reason why we fuck with that movie. Lawrence Fishburne. You know the fucking reason why. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I Ike Turner? No, 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 no. Yeah, exit with well, both of them. That's my point. This, this is how, yeah. But that's this my just point. To be a movie. It, it's always that. Hold, it hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not even done with it. Dude. But but both of them. You need both of them to to really enjoy that movie. She, mm-hmm. Both of them. Both of them played a hell of a fucking role. Okay, she played on the Jackson Five. She wasn't mm-hmm. a star. No. She wasn't. She played. She, she did. And, and, and don't don't get it, it confused. Not. Every role she plays, she knocks it out the fucking part. But yeah. my point is this: she's never the star player. She's never the reason why the box office blew the fuck up because of this movie. She was in one of the biggest movies in the Black Panther, but she wasn't the biggest star. Even in the last Black Panther, she had a bigger role in it. But she even had a powerful speech when she stood in front of Congress. But the biggest thing circulating that whole movie was the death of the original Black Panther. And who was going to replace the Black Panther. Before everyone knew it was going to be his sister, everyone had all theories and shit. So it really wasn't based on her, Angela Bassett. You know what I mean? So, I mean, think about it, man. Uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. Good supportive role. But that was Eddie Murphy's movie. She she played on, on Notorious. She wasn't the biggest star there. Well, she yeah, was the biggest I, star, but she wasn't the star. It wasn't why the movie sold a lot. Yeah, I, I get you that one. Yeah, that, that's all I'm saying. Like, she's a hell of a fucking actress. I'm my bad. I, I'm going to be in sexist. She's a hell of an actor. A hell of an actor. Every fucking role knocks it out the fucking park. But not one mm. of them motherfuckers. One of them, even how Stella got her groove back. Without Whoopi, it wouldn't have been the same. It just wouldn't have. You know, so so she can lead the role, but she need that that big boost, which I'm not mad at. Waiting to exhale. That was a hell of a starting lineup. 
She played in classic movies. She played classic characters. But she wasn't the reason why it was classic. But she's always part of the reason why it's classic. I'll give her that. I'll give her that. And and I hope no one felt like I was being bad on her or, or like I'm playing her or whatever the case may be. I'm just calling a spade what it is. I love mm-hmm. everything about her. But because of her, nothing ever went a billion dollars out the park. You know what yeah, I mean? We'll say that. Like I said, same for Samuel <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> same but thing. Would you, would you, yeah. Yeah, but would you but would you say that? Um, with that being said, if she would have took on some roles, like you know, because she should she they she was originally supposed to play Monsters Ball, but she didn't want to do the nude scene, which I respect, and that's what and that's what I'm saying. You don't have to sacrifice certain stuff and to make certain amount of money. No, I, I think she's just a she's a perfect artist. She's an artist. She yeah. she knows her her what what fits her. And if she's saying that don't fit me, I don't want to do that. She can afford to not said, do it. But she, but she said it specifically. It's degrading to her. It is. Now, it is. I, yeah, and, and and I and I respect that, and it is. But what I'm saying is, we're going back to uh, Christian Keys, and when you say people do stuff for certain roles, you you know sometimes it might be harder to break into. You know, uh, movies and all this other shit. Sometimes you might just have to suck it up and be like, nah, never mind. I can't do this. You know, fuck it. The road is going to be hard to get to where you get. I'm saying she worth 30 so, million. He worth 1.5 million. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but you, but what I'm saying is we, we send up her saying it in a sense like, you know, you got people who like, fuck it. If you want this role, you know, you do this. You don't have to do it. You chose to do it. So, which means, I mean, no, no one's saying he chose to do anything. He he just said he was sexually abused. That don't mean he chose to do something. It's no. Nah, I'm talking about when we used to, when we brought up the the whole salary thing and how people might get blackballed if they don't do certain things. Oh, but he he and, was, he's not being blackballed because of, of of that. I don't believe. Like that's what I'm saying. No. Right now we're going off a of theory, but no, because I, I, I just don't want people to get confused. Because I almost got confused. It sounded like you were saying he uh, asked for it or he must have wanted it or whatever. Okay, because you went to Angela no. Bash and Christian. No. But yeah, uh, no, I mean, I, I, what, what's your thoughts on this? Like people, do, do you think this? I don't is, like when people come out, and bring out like uh, accusations, and if you don't sit up here and bring it out, say who's doing it. Other than that, I don't want to hear it. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Gotcha. If you don't come out in public and say that somebody is very powerful has been sexually abusing you for a time in, in Hollywood or whatever. You know, if you ain't gonna tell uh, the public who it is, then why you even bring it up? That's my <laughs> thing. Other than that, like, that's my <laughs> <laughs> I want you to play this shit back and listen to you say the same shit twice in a row. <laughs> you even ended that bitch the same fucking way. But no, uh, Christian man. Keys, man, I, I get it. Shit can happen. You know, uh, it's his platform. If he chooses to go out there and say shit, he say shit. Uh, I just thought that would be an interesting topic to clear Tyler Perry's name. He is not the person uh, that Christian Keys is talking he about. Is not, he's not the pervert that Christian Keys is talking about. So he wasn't the flirty guy and all that type of shit. Uh, <laughs> he's not sexual degenerate. <laughs> so um, let's move to Celebrity Files. Oh, yeah, baby. I want to go to Celebrity Files because today... It's it's a little bit different. And what I mean by that is Tasha K. Now you know mm-hmm. Tasha K, right? Yeah. So she's uh, you know, she does blogging and videos and you know, podcasts and things like that. And and she's known, she's like the new Wendy Williams. You know, if you ask me. 
Uh, she loves to, to throw people business out there. Uh, some of them may be true. I, I, I do recall it was her. Uh, she was said she was, uh, I guess, working with Nicki Minaj. And she was set to do mean things and say mean things about Cardi B. And, you know, just make her look shameful. Uh, she also had a couple of talks with uh, people who represent R. Kelly, who now is trying to sue her as well. Yeah. Um, and he's doing this all the way in fucking prison. And yeah. also, uh, Cardi B is suing her. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> and I believe... Is is that the same one that Jada Pickett Smith want to sue to, or Jada Pickett Smith want to sue the guy? Yeah, Jada Pickett Smith want to sue the guy. Um, but yeah. now there's yeah, an ad- now there's an additional person. Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart. is yeah. now suing Tasha K. Mm-hmm. She basically throwing out threats. Telling him, hey, if you don't want me to uh, report this story that I got on you, then she wanted 250K. So now he's going to sue her for 250K. And it could go even higher. And for her to lock up on lawyers and all that shit, that's definitely going to be even more money out of her pocket. Plus what you're going through with Cardi B. Yeah, she definitely needs to. She needs to shut up. You, I can see if you were worth at least 80 million, 100 million, 60 million, 40 million, 30 million, 20 million. Yeah. Talk your shit a little bit. If you are worth like what, 1 million, couple million, something like that, whatever it is, it, 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 hey, shit, 250,000 dollars a hurt. She worth, uh, Especially if all these she worth 2 million. Yeah. That shit hurt. $250,000 is still $250,000. Mm-hmm. So if you get all three of these motherfuckers, and then you don't know if they're gonna sue you for you for more. So at the end of the day, shit, your ass better shut up, Tasha. Talk talk. Yeah, and these ain't these ain't just motherfucking walkers in the park. These is niggas that ain't no slouch in the industry. They got money, they got lawyers that can tie your shit up in court for a couple years if need be. You better shut the fuck up. <laughs> shit. Did you hear him, Tasha? Did you (laughs) Did you hear him, Tasha? And and I can't stand motherfuckers like Tasha K, man. Like this is like like, seriously. Tasha. Just just, like you said, a messy Wendy Williams, man. That's all she is. It's a messy Tasha. A dumb bitch. Tasha. Why you so dumb, Tasha? (laughs) <laughs> Y'all better go get this bitch, man. God damn, God. Oh, look at that, ass, man. Yeah, she she been getting on some shit with people nerves, man. I think I'm gonna sue the bitch now. The hell you doing? Going through the goddamn kitchen? What is going on, man? My niggas just can't. Right, sit. Niggas just can't sit right, down for the podcast. God damn. Niggas I had to get me a Pepsi. God damn, that nigga sound like you were digging through the trash can. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, Tasha K, um, you, you need to stop with all this shit you're nah. doing right now because nah, you said properly, Mister Mac. You need to shut the fuck up. Uh, no, nah, I mean she she's well done now because once they get her ass. It's over. And, and 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 let me tell you this, Kevin Hart. That's how you do it there, sir. That's how you mm-hmm. do it there, sir. Yeah. Not not like not like some of these other people out there who uh settle. That's how you mm-hmm. do it, sir. When you know uh, she don't have no proof of nothing and can't do shit, that's how you do it, sir. I respect you for uh, that, that, Kevin Hart. I do. Is that a jab? <laughs> More. Is that a jab? 
<laughs> that damn sure was a jab. What a left hook behind that son of a bitch. Man, shout out to Kevin Hart, man. The fuck wrong with her? Extortion attempt and shit. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Kevin Hart, you ain't going for it. Especially in this era where, you know, everybody's too happy now. That's that's Ann Kevin Hart's uh former assistant. That's the one who mm-hmm. so called gave that information. Like they might even got some shit. You know, they might got some shit on him. But he said, fuck it, I'm still suing you, bitch. It's against the law. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You run your mouth too much. Even if that's that's the thing. Because one thing, if I was a celebrity or if I was just a nigga with money like that, period, you know, it'd be non disclosure agreements uh, riding around with me. <laughs> mm. Here you go. Yeah. And they uh, said right here. And they said she's still okay, yet right they said she's still yet to pay off that four million dollar uh thing with Cardi B. So she still owe motherfuckers money. Yeah, and you still talking shit. She trying to get her numbers up on YouTube and shit so she can get some money for it. Mm-hmm. I, I can see taking that. my money out the bank. I can see that. Before they freeze my assets. <laughs> mm-hmm. And take I'll everything. Straight up. These niggas gonna take everything. And it's just like um like I was listening to somebody say something. It's just like all these people coming out and saying the same shit. These are people that used to get money with you. All these people are coming out. They used to get money with these niggas is now so trying to sue for certain things going on or talking shit about them or trying to extort them. I'm like, come on, man. It's almost sound like you bitter or you. it's just a complete shakedown. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, motherfuckers always got to find a way to make them a come up. Niggas fall down and they get mad. Start suing motherfuckers and shit. Or, 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 you know, putting, you know, sexual allegations and shit out on them. Yeah. This That's ain't nothing against me. It's like, no. Ain't nothing new at all. Uh, So, yeah, uh, that Tasha K, yeah, you're right. She needs to just shut the fuck up. That's all you need to know, and uh, and, and also moving well, on. Uh, fuck that! I'm tired of talking about her ass. I, I'm about to sue her ass too. So, boy. let me get my lawyers on the fucking phone. Sue that bitch. <laughs> she hurt you my feelings. She hurt my feelings. What she said about my friend Kevin Hart, and 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 one of my besties, Cardi to the B. You don't do that. You don't do that. You must think I'm stupid. Dumb ass. Yeah, man. That's crazy. <laughs> it's uh, crazy, bro. It's like the bullshit that comes out mm-hmm. with people. It is kind of crazy, though. But uh, moving on, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for Social Media Me. Social Media Me, ladies and gentlemen, you know what that is. Come on. Yeah. Hey, Social Media. Hey, this is my white people music. Get down. Welcome to Social Media Me. Let me turn that stupid ass shit off. Uh, Social Media Me, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of fucking people to talk about on this one. Not a lot, but it's like yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. First of all, first of all, what's circling around on the fucking internet now? <laughs> fucking Charleston White. Now, remember a couple of months ago, we, we reported that uh, Charleston White got beat up, you know, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the barbershop. And he was on, in, you know, uh, in the ambulance. And then he came out and said he fooled the world. He fooled the Internet and made y'all think this and made y'all think that. So now there's video footage just going around of this nigga sleeping. Sleep in the fucking barber's chair, and next thing you know, you just see these fists just pop, 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 
And he he runs behind somebody like oh I'm just looking at him man he looked like he ain't know what happened he ain't know what happened you wake up out of your sleep with punches to the face a left hook and a right hook and this motherfucker got up and he hid behind some old lady I don't know if it was his mama or somebody but he hid behind her and had a broom in his hand I said yeah he didn't fool nobody well he did fool us for making I, I'm pretty sure he changed some people's minds I said oh man he was just bullshit and that was a prank but nah <laughs> nah nigga you got your ass whipped you got your fucking head you must think we stupid hey Charleston <laughs> White I'm riding with you man tell on his ass you, oh my god call the police man. nigga just shoot his ass with that motherfucker. This is just what, what, what like, like I, I get it now. Without using the obvious, and I know you're gonna end up saying it anyway. Why do you like mm-hmm. Charleston White? But without using the obvious of, of he's real and he mm-hmm. say shit others nah, don't mm-hmm. say all that shit. Nah, I ain't say because he say shit a lot of people say. He's just entertaining. Yeah. So why funny. do you like him? Why? Why you fuck with him? He, I just he, he entertaining, he funny, and like you said, for the first thing, yeah, I was gonna say that, but he just entertaining. I I literally watched this nigga and cry. I literally was watching this shit at my mom's house, with my brother in law. Nigga was cracking up at this nigga. Charles the White funny. I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. Yeah, he is <laughs> funny, but he he's dangerously funny. Hey, he only dangerous to himself. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Everybody else. Everybody else doing dangerous shit. You might as well make yeah, some money. Yeah, but this nigga got damn about 50 some years old. Nah, it don't even matter. I don't you, care you, just saying, you just saying that shit because he entertained you, but in, 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 yeah. but well, in, in true life, say. but in true life, you would have told that old motherfucker, said, if Dame Dash was out there doing that stupid shit, you would say, oh, hold this on, hold motherfucker. On. Nah, because, like, you know, all the stuff he does in the community, too. He just do this for entertainment and make some money. I do that shit, too. So if you're going to sit here and say that he's too old for this shit, in which this nigga's only about 45, 46. Either way, now, 50. Fucking, hold on. Yeah, how old is Rick Ross and, and fucking 50 Cent? How old were going they, how old were were they when they were still... You talking about going back and forth with you, but they've been doing that yeah. since they was in their fucking 30s. I don't care. So, it, it don't matter if you care. Old, I'm talking about this, old, this nigga. This nigga just hit the. Man. This nigga just hit the scene and in his forties, bro. What are you talking about? You talking about a nigga with a long so time you trying to beef? Say, man, the opposite for talking about. They still too old. They all the same age. But them near. niggas they ain't killing each other. Them niggas ain't looking for each other and beating each other's ass. Dude, but they niggas is catching him. Okay, promote talk, and talk about, about it. it. I don't care if they talk about it. This nigga's too but old to be fight. starting. No, it's not. He's starting shit with motherfuckers who's in the streets. You talking to right. industry niggas. If Charleston White was right. talking shit to Gilly the Kid, okay, that'd be okay. That'd be entertaining. If he was talking shit to Cameron, okay, that'd be entertaining. But you talking shit to motherfuckers who out in the street and don't have a name for themselves and waiting to make a name for themselves. And that may cost you your life. 50 Cent is not worried about his life being taken by talking shit to Rick Ross. All I'm saying is it's childish, period. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. But just like one is entertainment. Said, said, one is entertainment. Charleston one is risky. White said, Charleston White said he's willing to die behind this shit. It's a love to die behind it. And, and you're rooting them on to, to go ahead and, and, and possibly die. Like so, I'm gonna, what I'm going to tell this nigga at 45 years old. Did you say he was 50? What I'm going to say to him that he's going to listen to? Are anybody gonna say? Of course, he ain't gonna listen to you. He know you a fan now. Shit, he ain't listening to your ass. People saying the same shit you've been saying on other platforms for almost a couple years now. Saying the same shit you saying. As he slowed down, tired as a bitch. I mean, I've seen him talk about the the communities and things like that. uh, Stood up in city hall and do. I like that side of it. I even I even agree with the shit that he be saying, but it's like it it it's t- I, I guess I don't like it because I can almost see 
how this is going to end. You know what I'm saying? I can almost see it, and, and, and it just might happen where a motherfucker like him might survive. I've I've been I've been fooled that way too. Motherfuckers, you thinking, yeah, that motherfucker ain't gonna live too long after doing all that. And motherfuckers grow older than, you know, the motherfuckers who should have killed him. So it's that is a possibility. Right but this He's nigga be out. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, hey, what, what you to do? Hide out? He got his gun, he got his pistol with him. It's the same chance. You taking a chance just walking out your front door every day. No, I don't because I ain't, I ain't fucking with nobody. His chances are definitely slimmer than mine. Hey. We ain't taking no same fucking chance. I don't fuck with nobody. If you talking about some random shit, okay, that's life. But that ain't energy yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing my way. No, niggas ain't looking at me. Niggas ain't trying to do nothing to me because I'm talking shit. If anything happened, it'll be some random shit. Not with him. That ain't going to be random. He ain't gonna be mm-hmm. killed by somebody who don't know who he is. Hey. That's a very slim chance of it happening. All I'm saying is Charleston White ain't gonna listen to nobody. Yeah, we know so that. At this point, I'm just gonna enjoy the videos he put out. Until he, he said a lot of shit. Yeah. I got you. The thing is, he said. He's saying a lot of shit that a lot of these hypocritical ass rappers don't be doing and all. That's another reason I look at it because he be shitting on these rappers. And these rappers don't want to admit. That's the reason these rappers and shit be mad at him because he be telling the truth and shitting on these niggas. A lot of these rappers are hypocrites and they're liars. Period. So and, and that's this is thing also, like but but this is all. This is this is. He also was the one who said Jay Z. Was fucking with Foxy Brown when she was 14, mm-hmm. 15 years old, which we all found out that's false. Mm-hmm. So everything this nigga saying is not facts. Now, that's proof right. right there. Everything he's saying ain't facts. Everything he's saying is entertaining. Okay, yeah, you can say that, but no, he ain't spitting no yeah. real true fact. He's just spitting some shit that he know some niggas is I, going to agree with. Why? Because it's bold. It's bold to say. Yeah, I'm, that's why niggas yeah, start he, fucking I, with Kanye West. George Bush don't like black I, people. Everybody start I, fucking with him after that. I get, I get that one. He does, I, I, he does do shit for top value. I'm just saying, I, I don't like all that. Ever since he did, like, at first, I was like, yeah, I fuck with him. You know, he's funny. You know what I'm saying? But when he did that shit about Hove, and Foxy Brown come out of her mouth saying, nah, that, that's, that's not what happened. Like, Hove had to call me on that shit and calm me down for motherfuckers putting that, you know, saying that rumors out there about them. Yeah, I seen it. So it's like shit, man. I played it on the show. You heard it. You know what I'm saying? But you mm-hmm. got motherfuckers out there who's saying that shit. Why? Because they heard Dame Dash over there with his punk ass talking to Nick Cannon yeah. and shit. And then Nick Cannon saying this shit over again on Vlad TV. Yeah. I sue them for that. Shit. I mean, it could be coming, but I think Hove hitting them harder, man. He making sure niggas don't move. Nick Cannon ain't going no higher than Wild and Out. Dame Dash ain't going no higher than New America, whatever the fuck that is. Now he going around talking something. No, I, I still own Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what percentage. I want to know what percentage. We still own Rockefeller. <laughs> Uh, what do you say? A uh, uh, freeways album is going to be on Rockefeller. I don't want to hear no more freeway. I'm sorry, I don't want to hear no more freeway. Man, I don't. I, I'm looking forward to hearing freeway because I'm know. most likely going to have state property and Benny Siegel. On I don't, don't want to hear Siegel no more, and, and that's sad to say. I, the, with the voice change, you know, I don't want to hear Siegel no more. He don't, don't even care. sound I like Siegel. I, I don't. I don't want to hear. I want to hear a fucking fifty year old Siegel. Sorry. Mm-mm. Shit. Mm-mm. It's been too long. It's been too... I see if he was still in the game. It's been too... Bro, you, you can't say that about all these other rappers. Oh, at this point, no. But then when Seagull is like, yeah, I want to hear it. Hell no, nah, man. Yeah. Uh. I mean, because Seagull's a spitter. 
So yeah, Sing- I would want to at least hear was it. Was a spitter. He's uh, look. All I'm gonna say is he put out solid albums. Now, just because I ain't heard from him in a while, don't mean I ain't gonna be like, all right, let me check this out. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out just like Az. Yeah, I, I but, but Az, album. but yeah. Az have a vibe. Seeger don't have a vibe. He oh. don't have those connections no more. He don't have. He don't have Kanye making his beats. He don't have just Blaze making his beats. Niggas changed. Niggas' life is different now. This nigga, he, he he stopped eating certain foods and shit. He's trying to live healthy. We ain't talking to Broad Street Bully no more. What bars you expecting hey. from a healthy Beanie Seagull? This nigga ain't hey, smoking I, and drinking and, and eating I, pork no more. I, I ain't telling him you got to have it. Yeah. You ain't got to be that single. I still want to hear what you, you talking about some rap shit. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'll take a listen to it, but I ain't waiting on it. Of course, I'm going to listen to it. It's Freeway, it's Seagull, of course, but I ain't, nah, yeah. I ain't waiting for it. Can't wait to hear it. Uh, yeah, yeah, I ain't going to say I wait. You know, but if that yeah. both pop off, yeah. I thought that's I what you said. I still listen to Seagull. That's what you said. I saying, still listen though. to Seagull. Uh, I was just listening to uh, The Truth the other day when I was coming across this CD. Yeah, classic shit. Yeah, of course. Awesome. I'm just saying, that. 20 years later, nah, bro. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm still back. He, he, I, I'm, still, still, I'm still riding with you, Seagull. Hey, Seagull, I, I, I fuck with you. I fuck with you, but like I said, I fuck with you so much, I, I don't want to hear that. Anyway, let's get off Seagull, man. Uh... Still on social media, me, Dave East. Dave East, mm. man. Oh, man. So Dave East was in Montreal, Canada. And uh, they had a concert out there. After the concert, uh, people were all at a bar and stuff, and it was a group of people. And one of those people was Dave East. And Dave East was in a crowd. Uh, the cops say it was about 30 motherfuckers, but witnesses say it wasn't 30 people. It was way less than 30, more like 10 or 11, something like that. So these cops basically mm. wanted to frisk everybody, and they did. And they threw, uh, where well, they actually pepper sprayed the crowd, the the cops got all nervous and shit, and they thought that they were going to kill him or something. And they basically pepper sprayed everyone, and Dave East was pepper sprayed as well. Uh, one witness mm-hmm. say that she seen Dave East on the ground, on his knees, you know, uh, blinded by this pepper spray. And when mm-hmm. and when they talked to the lieutenant uh, out there, I forget the guy's name. Um, he had a funny name, but th- this happened, in, like I said, in Canada, uh, their lieutenant, and he, they basically asked him, did they have, uh, you know, uh, orders to pepper spray? And he didn't answer the question. He ended the interview mm. at that point. So I, I feel like there's some shady shit going on here. And Davies, you need to go ahead and take that Cassie, uh, uh, <laughs> that Cassie, uh, you know, <laughs> outlook on this, and and yeah, man, I think you need to get your lawyers involved. You know, I think you need to get your lawyers involved and go ahead and sue the police department out there in Montreal, Canada. So, did you hear about this at all? I heard about it, but I didn't inquire. Cause I'm, I really wasn't a big Davies fan. Yeah, neither was I. But yeah. uh, so I, so I kind of, well, I get to this later. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big Davies fan either. But uh, hey, I'm reporting news now, so I've seen it and I yeah. thought that was something interesting. But yeah, I got pepper sprayed. I, I believe this probably happened off some type of. Uh, uh, the police was scared. That's all. And I'm pretty sure Davies yeah. was around a bunch of black motherfuckers. And the females who witnessed it was probably white girls. And 
uh, some of the witnesses were white girls who were saying they was wishing okay. to have a great day. Plus, plus you in Canada. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They go in another country. Yeah. You know, that straight up. They, they, they used to nigga shit, but they ain't used to nigga shit. I mean, Drake could have that could have been Drake call right there. <laughs> Drake could have told the popo, hey, hey, go handle that, you know? <laughs> go handle that, eh? <laughs> they shot the paper spread. Hey, <laughs> go handle that, eh? <laughs> oh, man, shout out to Drake, man. Go ahead and deliver this. <sighs> Go ahead and yeah. deliver this bottle of maple syrup, nigga. <laughs> uh, shout out to Drake, talk man. To talk, shout out to Dave East. Uh, hopefully, you recover from that, and hopefully, you about to go ahead and get some uh, trouble started with the motherfuckers for pepper spraying you, man. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit, and I stand with you there, brother. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, blue face. <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> fucking blue face. I'm waiting for somebody to turn this face red. Shit. Well, ass, well, they already showing some type of a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if the photo is Photoshop or what, but they got on his face and uh, uh, Krishan Rock face and Jaden his uh wife face. They got all these like bumps and shit on there, saying that they just passing. All types of fucking STDs around and stuff. I don't know how. I don't know how true it is. But <laughs> looking at the pictures, they look real. They look real disgusting as well. But uh, Mr. STD man, let me shut up. <laughs> oh, I played the disclaimer before. So anyway, <laughs> Mr. Blue STD. Uh, formerly known as Blueface, uh, he's being sued for defamation after claiming Soldier Boy's son could be his child. And uh, Jacqueline Martinez, who shares a son with Soldier Boy, claimed he received well, she received death threats after announcing on Instagram that she was sending Blueface a uh. Well, a C's uh, to the C's letter. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the woman is suing Blueface for defamation after the rapper claimed uh, in a series of social media posts that Soldier Boy, one year old son, could be his child. Uh, like I said, she shares a son with Soldier Boy, uh, Jacqueline. Uh, filed her complaint with the Los Angeles Superior Court on Friday. Uh, she alleged her lawyer sent Blueface a cease and desist letter uh, on Tuesday, but he was basically mocking the whole thing. He responded on Instagram with a post reading, nobody even said your name. <laughs> Oh shit! So you know, I, I'm not understanding none of them niggas, man. So you know, Blueface and Soldier Boy been going at it ever since uh, he was on Funny Marco's show, and he asked who you think would win in the verses between Blueface and Soldier Boy. And from that point on, it seemed like Soldier Boy and Blueface got on on video and they started chatting. It, but it <laughs> seemed like Soldier Boy really wasn't trying to take it there. It seemed like Soldier Boy was more trying to be, you know, just have some fun with it. And it seemed like Blueface was just trying to clown him. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you can definitely see it. And then Soldier Boy get to the point where he just becomes Soldier Boy. What, motherfucker? Fuck you, nigga. What, what? Who the fuck you, bitch? Fuck. And he, he started doing all that crazy shit. But yeah, it's, it's all started from there. Yeah. Uh, Dude, there can't be no verses match between either one of them lame niggas. Nigga, who the fuck is gonna listen to it? Uh, Soldier Boy got what? Three hits? Turn my swag on. Superman. Hop up out of the beach. Turn my swag on. 
That's not a fact. I want to do it. And you get money. Uh, that, that would be a good one, matter of fact. Nigga. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Blue, Blueface ain't got no song <laughs> touching that. No song touching that joint. <laughs> Say what you want about Blueface. old Soldier Boy. Blueface, baby. <laughs> but that fucking beat and that goddamn song killed it, man. Like, say what you want about Soldier. Soldier Boy told. Fuck that. Mm-mm. But yeah, these two goofy motherfuckers going at it, but uh, she wanted to be the bigger person about it, and she's suing his ass, which I think even you can agree with. Um, If, if this is what he was uh, basically trying to get Soldier Boy for, or blame or take credit for about his son. Uh, Yeah, because I remember the, the uh, phrase that he used when he said, uh, I fucked your baby. I fucked your baby mother before the baby shower. Before mm-hmm. the baby shower. So technically, which hey. baby mother, which baby shower? But the most recent child Soldier Boy had is this one year old. So we would think he's talking about Jacqueline Martinez. Martinez. Martinez, I gotta get my my Hispanic voice on that. Man, that's nice. Season five is it? Uh, so what else we got here? Joe Biden. Joe Biden is actually talking about uh parting uh all the Americans who had some type of weed usage. Yeah. In the past, mm-hmm. so uh, which should they legalizing it everywhere? You know, shout out to all the people up there locked up off those weed charges. You might be getting out a tad bit early. You might be getting out yeah. a tad bit early. So let old Joe you might Biden expose it off your record. Let old Joe Biden go ahead and uh <laughs> work. It, it might take a while. He's old as fuck. He uh, might forget. I remember. <laughs> he might forget. I remember when <laughs> I was out of touch. <laughs> What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to pardon? I was supposed to do something. Everyone who smoked meth. That's what it was. Was it she murder? (laughs) Or (laughs) Gus? Or R. Kelly? Which one was it? (laughs) You had to choose right now. I know who it was. I know who it was. It was Weinstein. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> I, I pardon the wine thing. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, you know I haven't been to that Allen in so goddamn long. You know what, honey? I think I'm gonna hey. take one of those uh, <laughs> one of those men trip again. You know, <laughs> leave you behind. What was the dude on that? What was the dude that got killed, Jeffrey? Who was on the island? Jeffrey something. Uh, he died in prison. Looking suspicious. Was it Epstein? Yeah, Epstein. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Jeffrey Epstein. So uh, that nigga, would, if he would have <laughs> talked, it was over. Niggas had to kill him. Somebody oh, yeah. powerful did that. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did. yeah, he did. That somebody done killed that nigga. I knew mean, when I said then he had. And, and the thing is about all his money, it couldn't be explained. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of crazy, man. That's yeah, you're on an island, an island with a bunch of kids. Yeah, that's my thing. And the kids telling so, their parents, you know, I, the kids telling their parents, they going on a school trip and shit, or a summer trip yeah. with 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 the, with the other kids' family. Motherfuckers ain't going nowhere, but so Allen, with no with, with no other funny. adult with them except for the motherfuckers who are already on Allen. Mm-hmm. And, and and the thing is that that gets me. It's like I know it's people out here like this in groups, but you don't really think about it until it's really exposed. You're like, it's really groups of grown men and women that indulge in pedophilia. 
On the and island. it's just like this. Is, yeah, on a private island where you can't be disturbed. That, that shit. Now that's that's sickening. It's a, hey, fuck what you want to fuck. What's what yeah. happens on this island stays on this island. And that's sickening. That's yeah. absolutely sickening. But them, you know, it's, it's, but them kids is going there. Yeah. They going there but knowing like what's going to happen. But see, that goes back to what we was talking about before. Those are kids. They was being groomed. They ain't grown. So I give them leeway. Because how, how much shit that we do as kids that we know we shouldn't have been doing but, you know, when we seen grown people doing it, they like, oh, God, look, nigga, let's do this, do that. We did certain shit. Right. Now, I wouldn't have went that far. Yeah, that's but. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, nigga. Ain't nobody. We want that fucking stupid. Yeah. You're not going. Today, you're not yeah, going. Today. You're not going to another neighborhood. You're not going up the street and your mom and dad don't know about. You going out of the fucking country to a fucking private island. Yeah, these had to be white girl and white kids because uh, <laughs> ain't no black parent left. Filter, how long? When? Where? A private fucking Where island. island. Yeah. A private That's island. Crazy. Nigga, I don't want to invite nobody to my island. Motherfuckers on there, we, I, I ain't inviting no nobody. It wouldn't, be no, it wouldn't be no fucking kids. It ain't going to be I nobody. It's going to be family. And, and and some friends that they can afford yeah. to, but I'm talking about yeah. like I'm not having no I'm not inviting motherfuckers because they celebrities. Nah, 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 not that type of shit. Nah. But if I did, like I said, they gonna be grown. They ain't gonna be no little ass kids. Right, right. That's, that, that's my damn. thing. And then it's just, you know, <laughs> Biden <laughs> probably over there with him laying with Roman Polanski and Jeffrey Epstein. Mm, mm, and, uh, Roman Polanski is still still uh, wanted for sexual allegations uh, but he fled to Europe and been over there ever since and still making movies over here in America mm-hmm. but they, ain't, they, ain't, they don't be sitting there talking about this nigga they I mean, he ain't over here in America man. that's what I'm saying but they, that, that's the thing it's like they bringing down all these other black men but the main people out here doing shit, pedophilia shit, all in your family, you know, less than little girls. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> He's 90. He 90 years old now. I'm like, nigga, come on, man. He said, they going to, even if he do, Re, uh, get arrested or they bring up some allegations it's gonna be like the uh, the Emmett Till effect where old girl died before they can bring her to justice mm-hmm. uh, yeah so uh, that all Joe Biden he's gonna try to legalize weed and pardon everyone I don't even know how the fuck we got to all this shit <laughs> 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 we were oh, just talking about, about Joe goddamn Biden. Joe Biden. Oh, he shit. He's talking about Joe Biden. It's on the island. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is going on? Uh, also, <laughs> we, we, we got uh, Lil Uzi Vert, which he announced that uh, uh, his next album will be his last album before he uh, retires. Uh, so, quickly... Uh, do you, do you think that's what's going to happen? Because he also said he wants to get into uh, designing female clothing. And he also was talking about removing his tattoos. He said he wanted his tattoos right. removed. Good. Looked like he's I going for a different that. image. Yeah. He's going to go for the uh, Vera Wang image. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, oh, he's, he's probably he's probably looking at Lil Wayne right now, like, man, I don't, I don't think I want to do this for for that long, man. No, nah, I said, I said Vera Wayne. No, I designer. said, I said Lil Wayne. Uh, 
Because that's who he reminds me of. He reminds me of someone who listened to a lot of Lil Wayne growing up. You know, mm. I, I believe he was a big fan of goddamn Lollipop and of Millie and all that shit. He just don't have the lyrics like Wayne, but listening to him flow, it you can tell it, uh, it's some Wayne gave you don't have lyrics. To. You don't have lyrics, period. No, he, he definitely What's don't. It? But you can tell he's I part of Lil Wayne. I listened to that bad and bougie the first time. I said, you know, why the fuck they put him on here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, they really could have did that song. Like, shout out to, to Migos and, you know, rest in peace, Takeoff. But Takeoff should have been on that. Like, y'all could have just scrapped that whole verse from Rose. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. He, he's like, definitely not a, a lyricist. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Even, even in the little, like, even in the uh, uh, like, anybody, what's that? Uh, everybody uh, with him and Nicki Minaj. I love the song, but his verse, it was like what? And wow, Nicki, and Nicki said. even said, Nicki even said she sent the verse back to him and told me he had to do it over. So he done it. Over and that's all he gave us. You know, and see that's my thing. Like, like I like I said when we did when I was talking about Nicki Minaj album. Like, it really didn't need no uh no features at all because like the feature she had to me didn't add nothing to it. Yeah, yeah, but we're not like, talking about Nicki Minaj. Lil Uzi Vert though, like nah, his, his lyrics. I'm about Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, his, his motherfucking song he did with her, his yeah. bird. I was like, oh my god, nigga, I, like, I can skip over this shit. Yeah, uh, you know, and I just want to rock. That's another song that I like because of the beat and and because of him. Gosh, but that's the, just because of the beat. But no, and just because, because and, and because of him, I just want to rock. Body out of ya. You know, I don't think no one else would have came up with that. You know, to that beat. It, it would have had to be him, you know. So I give him credit on that. He knows how to dance with the beat, and I mean lyrically dance with the beat. You know, he's not giving you no hard bars, but he's giving you something that dances with the beat. He's sparring with the beat. I love when people do that. Like, and, and that that's one of the things I would give Cameron. You know, Cameron had hard beats. He knew how to spar with the beats. Like he never gave me those hard bars, but he gave you that sound that made the beat that just went with the beat. You know, whether it was okie dokie, oly moly, whatever the hell it was. You know, he gave it to me. Look, was that a jab? <laughs> <laughs> I got a okie dokie, a poly oly, a moki okie say holy moly. What? <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna keep disrespecting Cam like that. <laughs> Beverly Hills cop called me Axel Foley. <laughs> now I'm Nick <laughs> Nolte. <laughs> <laughs> Ride the pony on me. <laughs> Hold on, I'm a gangster. Call me Fat Tony. Killer, 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 killer. <laughs> Shout out to Killer Cam for making classes. We got the boosters, boosters, the roosters, roosters, the chooster, fruisters, like ooster boosters. <laughs> I got the shooters shooting. The shooters be shooting. I know you The shooters be I know you they playing. I do the, the shooting. What the fuck is a Putin? <laughs> the Putin's Putin. <laughs> I get the <laughs> Oh man, God, man! Shout out Cam, I'm Rod, man! Bring it. Shout out I Cam! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh Shout out shit! Cam. Shout out Cam, man! Uh, shout out Lil Uzi Vert, man. If you want to change the tattoos and all that shit, man, I feel you start off fresh, go ahead into designing. Uh, maybe he he just see it different. Maybe he just see something. I mean, it's just money try. right there. I can see him. I can see him designing women clothes. That's money. I I, I don't Very, even think no. he's. I don't. I don't see him just doing it for the money. I really think he's looking at it like, yo, I, I this is something I want to do, and I got the money to come up with it and do it. You know what I mean? Like, 
the industry is looking for that. And he probably saw that. You know, if it was about the money, the industry is looking for that next Kanye because Kanye is declining. You know, regardless of his truth, whether he's still going to make some money, but he's declining. He's never going to reach that peak way. I don't think Kanye is going to be, uh, you know, I don't think he's going to be at, at, at Hope's level. Because Kanye yeah, had more back money back. than Hope. Kanye yeah. reached a billion before Hope did. A couple billion before Hope did. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's going to ever be able to say that again. Yeah, he will. That he, that he reached. I, mean, I get it. I would hope so. I get it's all that like shit, but old, I don't see that It's not happening. like you're old nigga. It's not like he's an old nigga, man. So, no, he's not old, know, but he's, he's still creative. He still got stocks. He still got business holdings. And all he got to do is sell off some. He can sell off some shit now and become a, a billionaire again. That's just like even with, with Diddy. And, and even with the businesses he got left and his assets, he still be a billionaire even after all this shit if he sell off shit. But at the end of the day, he going to make that. Man, Kanye West is too creative. He going to make that shit back. I mean, he's still in fashion. People still buying Yeezys. You know what I'm saying? That all it's going to take is some one of these companies to be like, you know what? Let me put some money back into him. Yeah, but yeah, he, 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 he don't, he not, he, but Adidas shit. getting that. Adidas getting the Yeezy money. He's getting a very yeah. small percentage. Yeah, it don't even matter. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. Because the, the, more, the more they sell out, the I'm, more Adidas I'm matters. Man. I'm talking about it. Yeah, it matters. But what I'm sitting there saying is, this don't matter right now because he's he's looking at it like this is a you know a small setback for a major comeback, Man, and that's what's gonna happen. Shut your ass up. That's, what, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> you were setting up for that for a small a setback. major setback, a, a major bit back, and <laughs> damn right. It's a, yeah, minor, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little step back and a major comeback. A major comeback, sir. Man, and he looked at he too like, many goddamn gonna, old movies, it. nigga. He gonna do it. I mean, I, 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 I would wish nothing but for the man to be successful, but I, I just don't see it. And if he do do it, then goddamn it, he's one of the best. To me, he'll be one he's of the greatest. Be. He's a weird nigga. Yeah, he's off. He's off a little bit, but he, you know, he's a creative genius. Mm-hmm. This, this Kanye, you get back on top. Just shut the fuck up, man. No one to talk. He need to get a like what's the a publicist or some shit. Mm-hmm. He need to get somebody to talk for him. Like, cause as a billionaire, basically, you know, home ain't about to be out. Doing all that talking and all that shit, you know he people he got people are representatives. Ain't no way I'd be out saying shit. I wouldn't have to say now. Nah, now if I were like on drink chips, yeah, because and and I, you know him losing his money just because he went on there and said what he said, you know, yeah, it needs yeah. to be said. He yeah. wanted to say it. Fuck mm-hmm. it, it is what it is. Yeah, he lost his money. I, I regret he lost his money for it. They 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 retaliated by hating on him because he told the truth. Mm-hmm. So he took a stand. And he said what he had to say. In, in this atmosphere of a uh, climate of um, hurting people's feelings because they don't want to hear the truth. So you know, I'm rooting for Kanye West all the way. Yeah, just learn to shut up sometimes, man. Nigga, I almost <laughs> forgot what your point was, nigga, until you said Kanye West. I'm like, oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> God damn, nigga. Yeah. You'll have me all over the place sometime. Uh, shout out Kanye. <laughs> shout out Kanye, man. Uh, hopefully you do I get back do, on that. <laughs> I done got a DWI. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, now just looking back, uh, we can go ahead and switch on over to uh, the pen and the pad preview. So we're gonna we're gonna have to give y'all the 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 Nicki Minaj joint, man. We 
it's been a rough couple of weeks for us, but we definitely gonna try to get that to y'all tomorrow. We're gonna definitely try to do, or at least get it recorded by tomorrow. At least by now, yeah, we'll have we all the facts and everything to it. So that'd be cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I mm-hmm. definitely think it's a. It's a I definitely think it's a. It's a well balanced album. So. Yeah. We'll yeah. We'll that be giving that. Yeah. Um. So. After that, I guess we're moving on to. Uh, Welcome to Hoosiers, dumbest criminals. Oh yeah, now Hoosiers dumb as criminals. That's right. Talk, 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 talk radio. Hoosiers dumb as criminals. So uh, mm. <laughs> today, dumbass we talking about today. Oh man, it's more than a dumbass. It's dumbasses. You're a fellow Hoosier. It's dumbasses. <laughs> so. Ladies and gentlemen, nearly 115 pounds of meth was recovered after three women pulled over near Indianapolis International Airport. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. 115 fucking pounds. Of meth. So, (laughs) in Indianapolis, new court documents reveal Indiana State Police troopers recovered nearly 115 pounds of meth just outside of Indianapolis International Airport. Uh, It was uh, three women, and they were charged after the recovery. So, around about 8 a.m., a trooper spotted an SUV in Bridgeport Road near US 40 across from the airport. Uh, they rolled through a stop sign. The trooper then conducted a traffic stop. So during this whole traffic stop, uh, they had the canine and the dog then basically can say, hey, I smell some fucking narcotics in this bitch. And the trooper said that uh, Witherspoon, which is the name of the lady who was driving the car or the SUV, (laughs) Witherspoon and two other passengers exited the vehicle. The two passengers was identified as 31-year-old Marlene Richardson and 30-year-old Christina, uh, what is this, Emrugwes, Emrugwes, Ingris, some shit like that. Uh, all three told police that they were traveling to Louisville for a funeral. However, the ISP said uh, each trooper, uh, they told him a different day that the funeral was mm-hmm. being held. So these bitches ain't even had a goddamn story, right? One bitch saying it's on Thursday. One bitch said it's Saturday. One bitch is says early is late night Sunday. Like these bitches was high and probably ain't know what the fuck they was talking about. So uh <laughs> according to the uh, probable cause, the trooper began searching the vehicle because he's like, these bitches just telling me all different stories. And he found several suitcases inside. And the suitcases contained large vacuum sealed bags. Containing clothing mm. wrapped around additional bags with crystal like substances. And the substances wow. later filled test positive for <laughs> meth and it weighed in at 112.23 pounds. Each suitcase found Damn. each suitcase found had airline luggages tags on the name. <laughs> and names were with a spoon. And Richardson and uh, whatever that other bitch name is. So the court documents added that the trooper also discovered cell phones and laptops that belonged to the women inside of the narcotics that were found with the devices. So they got all this shit. They trying to find out where the fuck this shit came from and where the fuck they were going with it. 
because oh, yeah. clearly they were smuggling some shit in from somewhere, and you already got uh, airport tags on your shit already. Are they black or white? Dude, I don't know. I ain't seen no pictures of them. But uh, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they were all different types of fucking people. Uh, in Indiana, I can't tell what it. They didn't have like a real black name in there nowhere. But they had something that could be either or. Like I remember one was Christina, or something mm. like that. But anyway, these bitches, congratulations, you fucking Hoosiers. You goddamn Hoosiers. You just dumb as fuck. I just wish I was the cop to pull them over. I'd have asked you straight up. I'd have gave them that uh, Denzel Washington line. Look, you want to go jail? You want to go home? <laughs> you you would have got them bitches killed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they probably safer hey, in ain't jail. Ain't none of my business. <laughs> ain't none of my business. <laughs> you know the consequences of what you do. <laughs> you got 115 motherfucking pounds of meth? Yeah. 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 I just want <laughs> I just want twenty pounds. Just give me twenty pounds. <laughs> yeah. You got three of them bitches. <laughs> That's my thing. Why you need all three of them? They probably you know smothered that shit in they and they puss. You, nah, you can't do that with no 120, 20, 115 pounds, nigga. You realize what the street value of nigga, is? Nigga, you remember how a motherfucker then uh, had a gun in his ass? Yeah. You tell me they can't pull a motherfucking 115 pounds with three women and they puss? I, dude, I don't see it. And they asshole? No. <laughs> they should have they they kept it in them before they uh, <laughs> were doing. They should have kept it in them. Nigga. I don't see it. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. You dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I couldn't be no cop, dude. Not even because, like, dude, I'm not even playing, dude. Mm-hmm. The first time I pull somebody over, nigga, that's what I'd be waiting for. I'd be playing on just to pull somebody over. Like, right, yeah, I hope your ass do got some dope in this bitch, mm-hmm. nigga. The hell, you hell yeah, yeah, I'd be that. What, what you gonna do with the dope? I'd be the dirtiest police officer in the game, nigga. But what you gonna do with the dope? You take the dope from what you doing with it? What you talking about? I know street niggas. Oh, what you think? <laughs> I was like, hey, look, man, I'm going to make sure y'all don't get caught. You work this angle for me, man. Look, I cut you in 20%. But you got to do work this package, nigga. Man, that old That's shit, it. dog. You still stuck on New Jack City days and shit, man. Shit don't nah, work man. no more. Yeah, I'm stupid. You don't do that shit. Little nigga, them young boys out there just, kill your ass, you know, man. The <laughs> wife of <laughs> them young boys kill your ass out there, bitch. <laughs> They're gonna fuck you, goddamn cop. Get twenty percent. Twenty percent. They're gonna make me run your ass in, nigga. Yo, had one of I straight up be a, I got straight up be a Denzel Washington. I had a whole hood mad at me trying to kill me, nigga. Shit, what you talking oh, about? Oh, nigga, would have hit your ass over. with the glizzy. I've been alive. <laughs> I've been alive. <laughs> I'd have been Alonzo <laughs> all the way, nigga. What oh, you talking about? Yeah, Alonzo <laughs> wouldn't make it these days, man. Cut it out, oh. man. Cut it out. I'm sorry, man. It was man. a classic, but it, it wouldn't I, work these days, man. Somebody would have been popped his chance. ass. Mm-mm. I'd take my chance. Man, yeah, you, you better. <laughs> you I, better. I, 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 I wouldn't, I, that's stupid mm. me, nigga. Let me pull somebody over with pounds of anything in the car. Nigga, I'm like, look, you want me to turn up? You want me to look the other way, man? I need half of this. I ain't gonna, I ain't no greedy, man. Yeah. You got 10 pounds, man. You can go. <laughs> 10 pounds. Right I, walk, I walk to him, and I'll be pulling all kind of dirty tactics. I smell marijuana, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They can say, hey, uh, gonna say, and motherfucker. Oh, man. Turn your, turn your car off, sir. Step out of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Send your ass goddamn south side of Chicago. Go ahead. Pull that shit down there. 
Go ahead. I ain't even gonna Nigga. Hey, I'm like, all right, cool. Nigga, Shit. I would be the dirtiest cop in the game. Shit. Shit. An argument between her siblings when one of them pulled out a gun. Listen to Fox this. Teens Evan Axelbank reports on what has the sheriff furious and the changes he is now calling for. Photos Abrielle Baldwin posted to social media show her filled with joy. She's just a woman going about life, doing her thing uh, with her two kids, trying to make a living, trying to make it. On Christmas Eve, while at her grandmother's home on 22nd Avenue in Largo, she'd had enough of her brothers bickering. Demarcus and Darkus began pulling guns on one another. Abrielle told Demarcus, <laughs> quote, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas. They both had been fighting over Christmas presents, with the 15-year-old Darkus jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old Demarcus. After Abrielle stepped in, Demarcus pulled a gun and fired, killing her and sending her son and his nephew, an 11-month-old, falling to the ground. Then, Darkus pulled his own gun and shot Demarcus, leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns on the streets and guns in this area and guns in the hands of these kids this is the worst I've ever seen. It. I don't think we've ever seen it this bad. The sheriff says the area around 22nd Avenue in Largo has been subject to extra patrols lately, with 13 gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from unlocked cars. He suspects the guns used in this shooting were obtained that way. And people can't leave their car doors unlocked and leave their guns in their cars. It's got to stop. Further, the sheriff says both juveniles have been let off the hook too easily by the juvenile justice system, particularly DeMarcus, who has a history of violence against school staff and law enforcement. The sheriff is calling for tougher laws. They are not getting the consequences that they should get that keep them from doing it again and again and again. Abriel was only 23, and now her kids, an 11-month-old and a 6-year-old, will have to grow up without her. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. Wow. This is silly. So that, I, I played that to ease into... Tonight, I'm going to call it mm -hmm. urban news, but it's still Indy's urban news uh, portion of the show. Like, bro, like, I know you haven't heard about that one, but tell me. No, I, I tell, mean, tell me. Yeah. Just seriously, this just shows you what the mindset of kids, they too materialistic. For one, uh, I, I don't understand this whole situation. Just when I heard the names, I knew it was gonna be bad. How you name your kid Darkest? I like, I've never heard of that. That's a sound like a dark individual. It'd be like, yeah, tell Darkest to come come here and open his presents. That's crazy. This nigga shoot up the whole family over some presents and shit, bro. And that 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 just shows you like the mindset of kids today. That's crazy. So and he shot. He he he's mad that he thinks the mother spent more money on the little brother who's basically like a year younger. She tries mm -hmm. to break up their fighting and yelling, and you pull out a gun and you kill her. Then oh, the Chris younger brother, then the younger brother that you're you're arguing with pull out his gun. And he tries to kill you, but he's not successful. Mm -hmm. I mean, bro. <laughs> that's that's almost like what the fuck, bro. Like, like it, the thing is, you couldn't tell me the mother didn't know that they had no gun. I'm sorry. It, it's just I, I don't. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But I mean, the mother. I mean, the mother probably didn't know they had guns. I don't. I don't know yeah. her situation, but the it sister, even the sister, it's... probably knew. But you know, you still don't pull guns out on. Yeah. I don't even know fucking yeah. Christmas in Mama's house. I don't. Do over some gifts, and, and and that's why I wanted to ease down because that's a sad fucking story. But yeah. 
there's more sad stories out there and that shit is happening not only in Illinois and in, in Chicago that shit happened in Indiana you know we got so many yeah. young people out there who's really fucking it up for themselves and they don't care niggas got guns and it's like for what Niggas don't know what to do with it. They can't wait to kill a motherfucker. Just, you know, like, that's what the guns is for. Mm -hmm. Don't use that shit just for safety, for my protection. No, you want to fuck with someone. You want somebody to fuck with you. Yeah. You ready. You know what I mean? Ready to knock somebody. That's fucked up. To the point, it's it's like you see these kids. I be seeing them at the gas stations all the time. Mm-hmm. Guns hanging off They hit with big ass clips I'm like y'all little niggas don't even know how to shoot this thing mm-hmm. Little niggas be trying to hide The pistol in their hoodies and shit You can see them poking out through their little hoodie pockets and shit I see the kids that used to mm-hmm. I used to work with At the gas station I was like hey man look At least can see that right through your sweatshirt bro That whole gun print I'm like man just Check that or something man Or just go home and just, You know you know you're on probation little dude You're lucky I ain't <laughs> kill your ass nigga uh, I had a good rapport with this little dude He used to be in and out of there man That facility Still so, could have killed I, your I, ass I was like <laughs> I was like what's up with you little dude man Go on in there give me a pack of swishers Since you standing out here man I'll buy you a sandwich man Go on in <laughs> Damn, that ain't even. I do not condone with that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but yeah, like it, it's just crazy how these young kids think. Like, what happened to the days? Like niggas are getting old. What happened to the days when older niggas? Like, man, give me that motherfucking gun, little nigga. The fuck out of here! Fuck out of here! You don't know what to do with this shit. Take your yeah. young ass it's on somewhere. Up. Let me go find out what I'm gonna do with this goddamn guy. He might he mm-hmm. might go rob a couple of niggas and then bury that bitch, burn it somewhere. Mm-hmm. He might go sell it in another fucking you know county or something. Hey, nice little getaway. We don't have that no more. Niggas, niggas scared that nigga. Hey, I'm gonna let them be them. Why? Cause the niggas got a gun. Yeah. Niggas scared of the gun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let no. Yeah. Ain't, ain't nothing I can tell them. I can't tell them nothing. Shit, no, they ain't fucking with me. I got a, I got a friend that is scared of his own kid, man. And we ain't talked in a while. And then when we finally talked, he was just like, "Yeah, man." He said, "Shit." Me and my son getting into it and all that stuff. Man, how you be getting into it with your son? He he's like, he grown now, so he think his ass can sit here and talk to me any kind of way. you like, man, I ain't playing with him, man. I'll shoot his ass. I'm like, nigga, you gonna shoot your own son? He's like, man, I ain't about to, I'm too old to be tussling with niggas, man. I ain't gonna do that shit. I don't give a fuck you, my son. Shit, fuck it. I'll make another one. I said, damn, nigga. Mm. Shit, I just said, nigga, I don't give a fuck who you are. Nigga, my son done threatened me. Told me what he was going to do to me. His mama done corrupted him and all this other shit. He said, mm-hmm. nigga, I ain't got time to be playing with him. This nigga come down here and put his hands on me. He said, I'm going to beat his ass or shoot him in one. Yeah. He said, you treat me like I was your father, I'm going to treat you like a nigga that, that's off the street. Mm-hmm. So, uh... Yeah, kind of- yeah so, uh... Look, man, we need more niggas out there who, who can put little niggas in place. They don't have no fucking body to look up to. We didn't discussed that on our last open chat podcast but you know what i mean it, it, it's just a shame man and, and it feels real bad but it's, just like you just, but it's just like you just said like niggas are scared to say something to these kids like i'm almost halfway when i see certain shit i'm like nah i ain't gonna say nothing to that nigga or well, niggas don't care no done. more some yeah. niggas don't care it's like i don't give a fuck what that nigga do as long as they ain't fucking with me that's it yeah. as long as they ain't fucking with me and and you almost have to be like that to an extent. Yeah, because more you niggas is dying. Like more niggas was dying who was trying. More niggas getting locked up who was trying. Well, more niggas mm-hmm. was trying. They just said, fuck it. Niggas ain't listening. Some people give up. Some people like, oh, niggas ain't listening. I was always that yeah. type. If if one motherfucker listened out of 100, I feel like I, I, I did something. Still got it. 
Yeah. But if everybody ain't listening, it's like, yeah, I might just say, fuck it. You know? So yeah. when I, I don't force myself to go out there and preach, and, 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 and maybe that's something I would need to do, or, or hopefully we could do in a day. I know if this podcast get up and popping, you know, the way we want it, where it can uh, sponsor certain things and shit like that, I would love to, to have a mentoring, uh, you know, team. And go out there and uh, mm-hmm. do some mentoring things and shit to these young brothers out there. Of all colors, but definitely in the urban community. So just wanted to get yeah, that out there. So in uh, the urban community works. Yeah. yeah. See it see you see some help some, man. That's all I'm saying to y'all, man. Just help out. So uh no Indies fun fact today. So uh congratulations on that one. <laughs> so uh we are definitely getting towards the end ladies and gentlemen we're definitely getting towards the end <laughs> and it's the favorite time of the year man what you got going oh, on for new year's and shit man shit work like a dumb ass like a dumb motherfucker. Like a dumb, ass. Like a dumb you know, motherfucker. You know, don't pull nothing funny on me. Nah, man. I ain't doing shit. I'm just be chilling with the fam. That's all. Uh, nothing too big. Nothing too big at all. So, uh, well, look yeah, like we. Yeah, nope. I told you. That's that's only for the white people. Uh, we we definitely did it. Uh, episode fifteen out this bitch. Congratulations to us. Congratulations yeah, we- to our fans out there, all our followers out there. Two point two k. We definitely in the game. We definitely doing the thing, man. That's the best right there. You feel me? Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have come to a conclusion. And that conclusion is we are the best. Yeah, we the best. We are the greatest. Yes, yeah, Lady yeah, yeah, like J. Kelly. We the best. We are the masters. Show enough. Now- Bow the down. Best, man. Kiss my converse. Now, Kill fool. Ah, oh, shit. At the designated time. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies shout and gentlemen. Out to yeah, big shout out to Show Enough, man. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. There's just about everybody in that damn movie. Mm-hmm. But uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it has been that time. And uh, we got to go ahead and take them on home, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Keon Mack, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the support. Co-host Terry over there. Terry, man, got anything to say before we get out this bitch? Man, happy holidays, people. Have a blessed New Year. Be safe out here. Don't get shot out here on New Year, man. Everybody be cool. Hey. Real love version I ever seen. Days gone by. It's the bigger love than a family. We out this motherfucker, man. Holla. Holla. Yeah.